Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit, and I'm here to talk about Half a Lifelong Romance by Eileen Chong. Uh, Eileen Chong also wrote Lust Caution. Uh, she is a Chinese author, and then we've got uh, Gu Manzhen, and we've got uh, uh, Shen Jun. Um, <laughs> we've got our main characters here, and this is set in China just before the Japanese occupation of Shanghai. Um, a little bit about the publication. This actually was translated by uh, Karen S. Kingsbury. If I could hold it properly. Um, from what I read in the introduction to this novel, uh, it was initially published uh, with quite a different ending, quite a different uh, thematic background to it. Because um, at this time, uh, she had to get by censors. And uh, the censors wanted a pro-people, pro-communist uh, ending if something was to get published. And it was called something along the lines of 18 Springs, a uh, half lifelong romance, basically. A half a year, or half a life, a whole life, 18 Springs, meaning 18 years. And um, Eileen Chong left China as the communists uh, took control of China. And uh, she moved to America. And years later, she edited this and published it in Taiwan, from what I read. And um, it became uh, Ban Chong Yuan, uh, Half a Lifelong Romance. <laughs> I forgot the Chinese name. Uh, anyway, um, this story follows two young people that have known each other for a while, um, and they both work in an engineering uh, company, uh, and he's a junior engineer, and she's, uh, she does secretarial uh, work, and it is about their budding romance Unfortunately, there are all kinds of problems, and those problems are uh, social problems <sighs> because his family does not want him to be with her because her family is of a different class, and also her sister is a taxi girl, meaning she uh, is a prostitute uh, or a, an escort at least. Um, and this causes some tension between the two, uh, because it shouldn't matter, because it has no reflection on her, and also her sister was doing this work to take care of her family. <laughs> um, which, uh, aggravates her sister, Manlu, uh, who is disrespected and mistreated because of her occupation, because of her former occupation, because she gets married to a man who takes upon himself to take advantage of Man Jen and gets her pregnant. And um, it's suggested, and not suggested, basically forced upon her that she should get married to him because of this situation. Their mother doesn't want to do anything about it because if she calls the police, because she has been kidnapped, by the way, for months. Um, she doesn't want the police involved because then uh, the family's dirty laundry will be aired out and she can't bear to handle that. Also, she doesn't want to take any criticism. It's not her fault, as she says. Uh, of course you would blame all of this on me. <laughs> um, uh, it's actually not funny. It's very depressing. Uh, despite all that, there are a lot of near misses where they're constantly thinking about each other and trying to come in contact with each other in different ways um, and always just missing uh, for one reason or another. Maybe letters are sent and someone else finds them and gets rid of them. Uh, maybe they just miss them. Uh, maybe they are at the wrong place at the wrong time, what have you. Um, and, you know, there's a whole lot of tragedy. And then it gets worse because there's war. And... Japan occupies Shanghai, and 
we get a resolution after the fact. Uh, I will leave a lot of that to you. Uh, what I do want to talk about is the characters in this book. My God. Uh, the writing here. And the translation is very good. Uh, the writing here is absolutely stunning. Uh, the characters are um, very well realized. And uh, for most of the characters, whether it's uh, Zweijer or uh, Shu Hui or, or Shi Jun, um, or whoever, uh, a lot of their dilemmas come from their choices. Uh, and you can see the way that they're thinking and how they process things. And you can see yourself in them. And that is fantastic. It's really well written. Um, in that respect, now, I did leave out Man Jen because, uh, unfortunately for her, all the other people sort of cause their own problems. Uh, other than the Japanese occupation, obviously. Um, and not necessarily Man Lu. She doesn't necessarily cause her own problems. She's doing what she can. She's doing uh, to try to do what's right to take care of her family. But for Man Jen in particular, she constantly gets punished for being a victim of social pressures, of uh, being a victim of um, what her sister's husband did to her. Um, and just social pressure of being related to someone who had to take some work that is disrespected um, or was disrespected. Um, and it is, it is just a pure tragedy for her. She gets ground up into dust, essentially. And it's just, <laughs> it's uh, very heartbreaking. And I felt uh, very emotional reading this book. I felt so bad for her. Uh, but I plan to read more Eileen Chong. She is fantastic. Absolutely recommended. Uh, not for the faint of heart. Um, very beautiful romance that is just sorrowful and sad and painful. A little melodramatic at times, I would say. Uh, because it's like, can't these people get a break, please? <laughs> um, it, it's all right in the beginning. And then it just, you know, uh, things devolve and get worse. And choices are made and they get worse. And then things get worse. And then Mom Jen is punished for being a victim. And it's heartbreaking because she doesn't deserve that nor does her sister deserve the um disrespect she gets for what she was doing which again was all to provide for her family and uh she's a bit treacherous in a way and uh god her husband is hong tsai is even i hate that guy <laughs> he's terrible um that's it thank you bye